yeah, we applaud for each other. That's the kind of band we are. Okay. Um, this is my friend uh, Brendan Allen May on the bass guitar. Really wonderful. And this is my friend Joshua Brett Butler back on the drums there. Oh, he gets the sexy guitar parts. That's really cool of CJ to do that for him. <laughs> that's, this, that's the guitar part I get. And, I treat, and I'm Mike Dunn. Um, oh, thank you. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, so this, is, this next song is the most literal song I've ever written. Usually you try to hide um, what you're saying in lovely metaphors about, you know, trains and flowers and, you know, all, like, I was driving down the highway thinking, of, like, that's a bullshit song, right? Um, so this song is the most literal song I've written. Um, it's about van ownership. Um, <laughs> it, has, has anyone in here owned a van before? Van Gogh? Yes. Did you own a van right now? Several. You own several vans? Shut oh, up. You just, wait, are well, you? we've had other vans, yeah. You've had other, do you own a movie company or something? <laughs> Lots of kids. Do you want to take us on tour? Because that's like the most expensive part. Lots of kids. Okay, that's cool. Well, let's give it up for van owners all around the world. It's really a tough thing to do. Vans are really good for two things. They're good for, um, they're good for transporting goods um, and people. And then everything else about them kind of sucks, you know? Including trying to take a woman on a date in a van. So I have a more important question. Has any woman in this room gone on a date with a man that owns a van before? That's a, see, we're doing a live survey tonight of what it takes to date successfully in the modern world. Step one, don't own a van. Um, the problem is, uh, most of the time, um, the problem is I own a van, and this is going terribly for me, and I've owned a van for a while. And this is, um, this is a story about uh, one of those dates that worked out, and I pulled up in a van. First off, tell her beforehand if you do own a van. This is, you know, this is the modern world here. And, uh, and she didn't, ended up getting in the van and we went to Olive Garden or some bullshit. <laughs>
I don't know. Fuck you guys. <laughs> it was so fun. We've been doing that throughout the tour. I did it the first time and I was like, oh, that was kind of fun. Um, so if you want to hear the happy version of that song, uh, the first like three, three and a half minutes of that song are available on a record over there. Um, it doesn't contain the part that's going to bum me out. So that's all i got to say about that.